All right, I'm going to show you uh, at end of your session what you need to do. Okay, um, after you finish all your calculation, uh, you need to bring the medication back to 100K, which you can see the reading here, 100K on the software. Okay, uh, if it's not, you adjust the medication knob, which is here, you rotate it, you can make it 100K. All right, so the next thing is we need to spread the beam to the large screen size. We cannot leave the beam in this bright list, and we have to spread a little bit larger than the screen, not too dim either, okay? It's supposed to be a little bit larger than large screen. That's it. So the next thing, we need to check the, um, to move the condenser aperture back. So during your session, you are using the largest condenser aperture. I'm going to turn the light for a minute so you can see it, okay? So here is the condenser aperture, okay. All right, so you need to do now your aperture position, Okay, let me see. Is you see the black spot? Uh, the white spot is aligned with the black spot. Okay, and uh, we need to rotate this big part of the aperture so that the red spot will move to here. Okay, we need to rotate this counterclockwise. Just rotate it. Okay, so now you see the right spot is aligned with the the little dot there. So this is how we take out the condenser aperture. I'm going to turn off the light, so, yeah. So you should go to still see the beam. You're supposed to do that in the dark, okay? You still supposed to see the beam on the screen. And they just put, uh, um, the next thing you need um, to uh, close the beam wall, which is you just need to click the beam button here. You see the beam button in the middle, okay? Just simply, Lift the, the cover, single click. Okay, so now the screen is black now. Okay, we put this cover on. Then we can turn the light. Um, we can also, while waiting, uh, we can, uh, we need to neutralize the stage. Double click stage neutral. Okay, your position should go come to X, Y, Z, zero. Okay, you will pop up a window as telling you it will, will neutralize the stage. When it's done, all this will become blue. Then click OK. If any of this number is above 0.5, you need manually adjust. Okay, so simply click OK. So this is how we go to shut down. So now we can turn on the light. All right. We need to remove the holder from here. From the so we unlock this the scanometer. Okay. So we unlock it. Okay. So you see the holder is here. So we need to remove the holder from the garnimeter, okay? So what I normally do, so the process is pull, rotate, and pull, rotate, okay? So, and then stop. All right, so I'm going to do it. It's pull, okay, straight, no tilting, until you cannot pull. It's a little bit heavy, okay? So you will see a little bit line there, okay? So we, yeah, if I pull out a little bit more, you see the line there, right? So now I'm going to rotate, okay? When I cannot pull anymore, I rotate. And here, I cannot rotate. After I rotate, is to, uh, to leave your hand there away from the holder so that you can adjust your hand position for needed for next step. So, if we look at this region, the first ro uh, pull and rotation will bring the sample holder to this place. We, okay, you see this line is right uh, uh, about the 
opening mouth of the gallimeter. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the hole out more. Okay, so I'm going to pull. If you look at here, I'm pull. Okay, you see it's coming out to this about this distance, about three millimeter. Okay, and after that, you just rotate. Okay. So I rotated already. So now, if, if you look at this hole, uh, if you look at inside this hole, the guiding pin should be around this place already. Okay, so we just patiently uh, need to wait. Okay, um, we need to change this switch. Okay, after you pull and stop your holder to this place, and um, we will change this switch from palm to air. Okay. So I'm going to repeat, uh, I'm going to, um, I cannot repeat manually, um, so it's okay. So we just patiently wait. Okay, you will see here on the software, the specimen reading will increase when it's close to 240, the V34 will turn from green to black. Okay, just patiently wait. So now it's up, so which means it's ready for you to pull out the holder. So the next step, you just simply pull, pull straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is how we remove the holder. Okay, now we're going to land the holder on this place. Okay, when you land the holder, be careful. Um, especially for the double tilt holder. Single tilt holder is not very tricky. So you put it in this place and then remove your sample, put, put the tube on. Okay, that's the end of session. You have to put the tube all the way to here. Okay, so after that, you need to put the dummy holder in. The dummy holder normally we place here, this whole dummy holder. You take out the beginning of your session. Okay, to load the dummy holder, it will be the same procedure, like you load a, a, a same holder, a, a real holder, okay? So if you look at here, your dummy holder, you will see here has a little bit of copper pin there, right? So you need to align the copper pin to this uh, gap here, which is about nine o'clock position. You see the gap, okay? Okay, so I'm going to show you. So you just simply align, okay, pushing, okay, align. Okay, now you see it's aligned, right? So simply push, okay? So after that, you just use your left hand push, right hand change from air uh, to pump okay all right you will see the numbers should start to drop okay in the spaceman mm -hmm. okay after that you just release your hand, okay? We wait here, uh, it come to uh, evacuate ready. For the dummy holder, it's not critical to go to the evacuate ready, but for real holder, we have to make sure it's evacuate ready. For dummy holder, normally I would say, when the venue come down around 40, now it's 54, uh, we are okay, safe to rotate it, to insert it, okay? So, 45, we wait another minute. Okay. Yeah, we're ready to load the uh, dummy holder. All right, so you just need to rotate, okay? Rotate the dummy holder clockwise. Okay, after rotate, 
you make sure we have uh, I'm going to rotate the camera a little bit so you can see better if you look at the uh, the pin here okay I don't know whether you can see so you, you see make sure after you rotate the dummy holder make sure the pin okay it's move all the way slide all the way in the front in the beginning of the session when we take out the dummy holder we need to pull the pin all the way to the back okay and hold to the back so but after end of the session make sure the pin all the way slide to the front i hope we can see a little better but i cannot okay that's fine okay this is how we load the dummy holder and after that we just lock this door Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, end of your session. If you have a user after you, you don't need to do anything more. You just need to clean up the table and take, off, uh, take your stuff uh, with you. That's it. Um, if we uh, don't have an, another user, you need to put the uh, instrument to stand by, then go to ACD hit, okay? So this is a software. So we come back to software. You go to to we need to bring this. If the no use update, we need to go to standby. Maybe I put another session. Mm -hmm. 